and I, I'll, I gotta go walk through the doorway. I'll be back. Right, now I remember. It's called Walking Through Doorways Causes Forgetting. Um, and he was talking about the phenomenon that whenever you go into a different room, you usually forget the reason that you were there, uh, so long as it wasn't something super, super important. Um, even then sometimes, at least for me. Basically, they wanted to figure out if the act of actually going through the doorway is what caused you to forget. What they figured out is that you have a short-term memory buffer uh, that essentially will delete stuff once you're out of the context in which you will need that. So if you're in one room and you're doing something, you're like, oh, I need to go get something in another room, you start to walk towards that room, your brain figures, oh, I'm done doing, you know, project A, so I can forget about it, even though project A is going to get the thing that you're going to get right then when you're forgetting the thing that you're supposed to be getting. The reason I'm talking about all this is because of uh, your little sleep trick, Jekka. Uh, as soon as I heard about it, I thought of the walking through doorways study because I vaguely heard about it a while ago. Because I was looking up the research paper, I came across a Scientific American article uh, about that research paper, and it opened up with a quote by uh, French poet Paul Valéry. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm probably doing it horribly, horribly wrong, but then again, I'm not French. And the quote is, the purpose of psychology is to give us a completely different idea of the things we know best. Now, as soon as I heard about that, I started thinking about philosophy, um, because if you interchange the word psychology for philosophy, it pretty much still makes sense. I don't do a whole lot of in-depth study of philosophy like you've done, Tiago, uh, but I do find the subject itself fascinating, and more importantly, I find the way of thinking fascinating. Uh, I got this book, World of Ideas, quite a while ago, and I like it because it gives me quick, brief summaries of ideas and perspectives without going full in-depth into them, because I find it... i rather start by looking at myself, as uh, in my Esther video you saw on my door it said, Know Thyself. Um, I see that every time I walk outside, uh, and I think that's a very important piece of advice. So I try and live by that, and so I don't really want to dive into various philosophies until I'm absolutely certain I know what I think about the subject. Now, I'm open to changing my mind about things later on, but I want to have a solid starting point, a bedrock of, of self-knowledge before I go venturing out and hearing all these different ideas, just so I know where I'm coming from. But I do absolutely think uh, it's great that your school system encourages, well, requires that you go take philosophy. I think it can do a lot for people. Um, Again, not so much because the specific ideas that are given are inherently right or anything like that, but because it changes the way you think. You start thinking critically and examining things a lot more instead of just going, oh, well, I guess that's the way things are. You think about it and try and find different perspectives. And the more perspectives you have on a topic, the more likely you're going to come to sound, reasonable conclusions about that topic. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I was in gymnastics for a long time. Um, I did wreck my Geo Metro. It was a really fun story. Um, <clears throat> my buddies uh, TJ and Joe, they had a uh, Suzuki something or other, uh, some Jeep knockoff. So they would go around to the various construction areas and do a little bit of light off-rooting and all the, the dirt there and whatnot. Uh, the Geo Metro that uh, my family had at the time weighed 1,234 pounds, which is really easy to remember, um, which made it light enough that even though it wasn't built for it, it could pretty much go across loose soil fairly well without any uh, big issues. So um, one day uh, we're all out and about, uh, me, TJ, Joe, and then in the car with me was uh, my buddy Lorenzo. And so we were going along, and I see a bump, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. We're going to have a little bump, and we're going to feel like we're flying through the air. Little did I know there was a three-foot drop on the other side, which meant that when we hit it at about 30, Lorenzo had enough time to go, oh, my God, we're in the air. Uh, and, and then we weren't anymore, and um, nobody got hurt, but the front part of the frame sort of did a uh, one of these right up into the radiator, so that, that, that car got totaled. Yep. Um, as for Phil Plate and Alan Stern shining my shoes, uh, actually, yes, this is true. A couple years back, they held a fundraiser for uh, the Planetary Science Division in NASA. Uh, they were up in Boulder. I live in Denver, and they're really awesome. So I went up there, uh, signed a couple of letters, asked them a couple of questions, got my shoes signed. Uh, shoes shined. So that was pretty fun. Um, so it was actually the first one, the one about gymnastics, that was the lie. Because while I was in gymnastics for a while, I wasn't actually very good, so I never really won anything. 